Hey guys, I hope you're having a great week. I certainly am. My first video got 100 views in one day. Oh my gosh, like that might not seem like an achievement, but that is an achievement for me. And as well as that, now I've finished all my exams, I've got time to do absolutely nothing. I know, right, I spend my time wisely. So I finally finished the book that I've been reading for nearly a year now. I know, I'm so ashamed. And you know what the best part about it was? It wasn't spoiled, surprisingly. It really, really irks me when people give away genuine important parts of a plot of a book or a film or even like a video game and then, as if that wasn't bad enough, they have the audacity to go and say, oops, spoiler alert. What? I remember one time I just started reading a book and I was really excited about it, I hadn't read it before and I heard that it was really good so I told all my friends about it and one of them turned around and said to me, Oh, you know the main character dies, right? Why would you say that? Either you've got like minus 15 a number of brain cells to realise that I don't want to know that the main character dies, or you're just really, really mean. So throughout that whole book, I was telling myself that in my mind, the main character wasn't going to die and that she was lying all along. But then eventually I got to the part where she does die and I wanted to curl up into a ball and cry myself to death. But I know that people think that it's funny to spoil things for other people, but honestly, like, this is the cliche moment where people say, just put yourself in someone else's shoes. Would you really want your favourite TV or book or film to get spoiled? No. So don't do it to other people. Seriously. Whew, I feel pretty good to get that off my chest. So tell me in the comment section, have you ever had something that was important to you that got spoiled? We can get through the pain together. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.